The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. Welcome, welcome to Unhinge, where door hardware nerds get together and we knock and slam on different door hardware installs and fails and code compliances and all sorts of issues. But we learn, we laugh, and sometimes we even cry because of how bad these uh, installs can be. But most importantly, we learn while having fun about different door hardware and access control security fails. So today we do have have a very special guest, Mr. John Polly. John, why don't you hop on and say hello? Tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, and a fun fact for the audience. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is John Polly. I am a security technology consultant with ProTech Solutions Partners. What that means is I get to geek out over security tech. So I'm not a door nerd, but a security geek all the same. I've been in the security industry a little over 22 years, starting out as a police officer and spending a majority of my career in the integration world. So hopefully none of these are doors that I have either installed or interacted with ever before in my life. And my focus is on smart cities and Fortune 500 companies because smart cities and Fortune 500, when you look at them, look very similar to each other. I help them orchestrate and design the right security tech going in and the processes that follow that. Fun fact about me is that I have a bartending license. Yes, I did get it off of a Groupon for 20 bucks, but it is a fully licensed bartender. And I am currently in the process of heading towards my Wine and Security Education Trust or WSET certifications for wine and spirits, just because I like to know more about wine and why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> that is a fun fact. And I know from firsthand experience that you know your stuff. You were uh, talking at our wine and security event that we had at ISC West that you guys put on together. You were having some very engaging questions for our sommelier that showed up. So that was pretty impressive stuff. Well, thank you. I tried to keep him on his toes. <laughs> yeah, you got to check sommeliers every once in a while. Keep them humble, you know? like <laughs> That you do. And you know, it's interesting. Sommeliers are typically going to be in tasting rooms and leading your wine taste. The WSET certification folks are your distributors. Sommeliers may know the tastes and all that, which WSET includes, but WSETs are going to be able to tell you where and why wine comes from, what areas, things like that. And so trust your distributors that they actually knew to bring the right wine to you versus something they just picked off the shelf at Aldi's and went, oh, this looks okay. That's awesome. Good to know. I didn't know the differences. That's great. Mia, welcome. Good to see you again. <laughs> you want to hop on and say hello and think you might have a fun fact, maybe? <laughs> I don't know how fun it's going to be, but hello. <laughs> so welcome to this episode. This is episode 27 of Unhinged. 27. Wow. Yeah. yeah. We're almost grown up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kick them out now. They should be on their own. No. My not so fun fact is my kids both started school for the first time ever last week. So it's not so fun at my house because neither of them were tired when they came home. They didn't go to bed early. I feel like I have been sold a bill of goods that it's just, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. We were just, we were up late, but they enjoyed it. They were happy to go back. And that's all that I can ask for. Those doors did not work the way they were supposed to be working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah the operational narrative was off it was not super rough nobody was emotional but like my husband and i were like oh the kids will be asleep early we'll get to pop on a movie or something nope none of that if anything they were energized by school right maybe they're yeah. extroverts maybe uh they love people and they thrive in that environment yeah unfortunately i think so all right well benji welcome back welcome to this episode what's going on with you what's your fun fact this time this one's a little random and kind of weird but i just thought about it because I don't know of anyone else that does this. So I'm right-handed. So I do drawing and throwing and everything right-handed. But I actually use my computer mouse with my left hand, which is a little unusual, but something I switched a few years back. And so like, I didn't even start learn. I learned with my right hand, but I switched to my left hand. And now it feels so weird to go back to my right hand. So there's that. And the reason why I did that, because a lot of people, I mean, not a lot of people, but I'm assuming people were like, why? Why did you? you switch that is actually had a shoulder injury that was acting up. And so I was using my right hand to do my mouse, but it was causing some pain. And so my chiropractor actually suggested that I switch using my left hand. And for the first few weeks, it was so awkward. I was so slow and it was hard. Like it was like very painful experience actually, because you're like building mouse muscles in there. You never <laughs> realized that you had those, but so, uh, so Benji's walking around going, my shoulder hurts on one side, my shoulder hurts on the other side. And I can't move either one. But now seriously, like it helped my right shoulder out so much and my left shoulder. Now I can't go back. It's like, I used to be an Android guy, but now whenever I try to use my wife's phone, which is a Samsung, I'm like, how do you do anything on here? <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry, I still haven't figured out the one button click on Apple. Sorry, I'm an Android <laughs> guy. It's like, how do you do one button? Doesn't work for me, but okay. I used to be a diehard Android guy. Like I was LG phones, like the quality of the camera and everything. Like iPhone's still playing catch up on a lot of that technology, but company standard is the iPhone. And that's what I got when I got hired five years ago with Os Obloy. And, you know, I've never looked back. I wouldn't buy another Android again. I'm sorry. Hopefully I, we don't lose too many followers because of this. <laughs> like we keep having these controversial debates on those episodes. And I think people are going to stop watching us, Benji. Last time I don't know. Pizza, people do take their iPhones and, and Androids very seriously. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's like a cult. So, I mean, maybe comment below if you're Team Apple, Team Android. I don't know. Let's get some engagement out of this. <laughs> you know, this may actually, that question, that comment right there, either on LinkedIn or YouTube, it may just go viral because you're asking people to part ways with what they've been doing. I mean, it could evoke a visceral response just as much as a door. Yeah, kind of... well, definitely could. Okay, for those who don't know how Unhinged works, what I'm going to do is I'll pop a picture of a door, fell, install, code violation all of the above up on the screen. We will all knock and slam on it. Like, what's the slam reference? I feel like that was like early 90s, right? Like you got slammed, right? <laughs> We're going to knock and slam on these different door fells. Throw out any helpful tips and tricks to our audience to help them learn as we have fun. But John, I know you're more on the access control security side of the door hardware side. So I crafted these a little bit more your way. There are still some life safety code violations and stuff like like that but just so you know this is going to be up your alley i like to craft the photos for the guests that we're going to have so yeah but where, then we'll give we it a why am i in this hand basket that's all i'm wondering i just yeah right <laughs> And then we'll give it a knocking score. The one being not too knocking bad and 10 being pretty knocking bad. Let's call the AHJ. Let's get John in there and his company to help take care of this. Let's resolve this issue because something has turned and gone wrong. Let's jump in. You ready? All right, I'm ready. If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, or if you have a picture to submit, you can email me at mia at doorhardwarenerds.com. Thanks for watching.